Alright, I'm going to take apart this little dental x-ray unit. Um, here's the uh, tag information. It's made by Belmont. It's got a total output of 70 kilovolts at 10 milliamps. Alright, you took off this mounting bracket. And it looks like this unit actually has a drain plug because these units are filled with oil to insulate all the electrical high voltage inside. You can hear the oil sloshing around. Looks like there's a bigger one on the other side. There it goes. A lot of oil. A lot more than I thought, actually. My friend actually got two of these units off of eBay, and I bought this one off of them but his didn't have anywhere near this much oil in it. That's lovely. I'm going to have to get another pan. And a whole roll of paper towels. I found a kitty litter bucket this should work to put the oil in. I was going to use a milk jug but ideally you would want to use a bucket that's dry and doesn't have any kind of moisture in it because you want to keep the oil as dry as possible so that it's the most insulating as it can be for the electrical connections because the oil will tend to absorb some moisture.
Alright, finally got it popped open. I just need a little bit of prying. Looks like it's got some sort of little air pocket in there to keep it the pressure steady. We got the transformer core in the back. The x-ray tube is right up here. And there's really not too much else to it. Although it looks like it has some kind of separate little winding here. Alright, got a recharged battery in the camera. Finish taking this apart. Take out the x-ray tube. I finally got that last stubborn screw out and this whole piece comes off. It looks like it's its own separate little transformer for powering the filament in the x-ray tube. I just gotta find what I did with that last screw so I don't lose it. So it's looking like this unit has would have two separate power feeds then. You have a mains in here on this little transformer to provide a couple volts to the filament in the tube to get it ready to go. And then you could apply power separately to the high voltage windings in the main transformer to actually emit the x-rays and perform the exposure. get some pliers to get that off. It's got solid lead all the way around the tube except for the little opening. It should just come right out.
set that aside. I think I'm just going to trim these loops off so I can get the transformer core out easier. Looks like the transformer has two separate primary windings. There's the ground connection for the high voltage. Probably get that transformer back under oil as soon as I can. It looks like that's about all there is to the unit. Get a close up on the transformer. Alright, I got the x ray transformer wired up and the bucket covered with oil. Got it ballasted with this microwave transformer. And I'll fire it up. Pretty good gap. It's about the width of a TV remote. about halfway on the variac before that arcs over. So should be able to get significantly larger arcs than that once I get a better sized bucket and the transformer will be better insulated under the oil. And I can probably mount the wires to the outside of the bucket with some bolts and make it a lot easier to wire up. 